What's up? What's up? What's up? Y'all, I'm going to do something like what grown folks do. I haven't had a glass of wine in forever. Let me see if I can get a good grip on this. Got it. Had to put it on the floor. <laughs> in order to get some stability to open it. What's up? Happy Friday. Happy Good Friday at that. Chop in the comments where you are joining me from while I try my best to get this off. Let's see. How do I? Okay, I think I have to just do this. Normally, I am drinking Stella Rosa, which is much easier to open because they have screw caps. <laughs> oh, yeah, they have screw caps. Oh, I think I got it. I think I got it. I got it. Oh, it smells so yummy. It smells so yummy. I told y'all we were going to chat, chill, and vibe. I'm playing my... Um
Moscato Diasti. But it's still not my favorite. I'm still more of a Stella Rosa fan, so. And I do have a bottle of the Stella Rosa Black, but I wanted to save it. I'm going to put it in my van and carry it with me. Hey, what's up? Cheers. Hope you're doing well tonight. This beautiful Friday night. I don't know what area you're in, but here in Maryland, it's not raining. So that's a good thing. Um, it's not too, too cold. But this this uh, cupcake, Moscato, this Diaste, it's hitting. I wish I could play music in the background, but that would probably get me a copyright infringement. So I hope you got your music on in the background. I do have music on. I'm actually listening to Kiss by Prince. Who's a Prince fan? <laughs> Let me know where you're coming in from. Go ahead and let me know in the chat who you are and drop any questions. Um, let me know where you're coming in from, what you got going on this weekend. It is Easter weekend and some people are actually, it's a long weekend. Some people were off today and some people are off on Monday too. So it's a four day weekend. So if that's you, hey, I know you, you're loving that. <laughs> Cheers. And if you got your drink, you're drinking something, eating something, let me know that too. Go easy on the food because a girl hungry. <laughs> I was eating some crackers earlier, so I might just grab those because... I am a little hungry. My husband is actually cooking something now. Don't know when it'll be ready because whenever my husband cooks, it is a production. So who knows when it will be ready to eat, but I'm grateful that he cooks. Don't get it twisted now. I can burn. I can burn. <laughs> so how y'all doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How is you tonight? How you be? I'm listening to Prince. That's why I'm, I'm moving back and forth like this because he's singing. Um, what is he singing? I mean, I can't turn it up because I don't want a copyright infringement. Kiss. He's still singing Kiss. You know, when you hear Prince, you want to move. <laughs> Don't be shy. I see it's four people there. Don't be shy. Let me holler at a sister. Holler at a sister, please. <laughs> 
Y'all know how crazy you feel talking to a screen and nobody's talking back at you. It's cray cray. <laughs> but the things that we do to engage our community and get allow people to get to know us for the people that we are because we just like y'all we just regular people who happen to just want to show a little bit of our life on these social media platform streets you know so I really want to get to know my community and I want my community to get to know me because I'm pretty cool I think I'm a vibe I believe I'm a vibe I really do I mean you either love me or like me that is gonna be it you it's probably no in between um because I'm I'm very confident. I am very sure of myself. I have my moments when I have some some wavering things, but I I, I pull myself together per, pretty quickly. Um, but I am the most loving, giving, kind, generous person. But don't play me. Play don't play with me. Don't play with me. Um, I have worked on that part of me. So, uh, but I can still get. Yeah, I try. I don't like that, though. I don't even like to do to have to get in, you know, into that spirit because it's low vibrational. And I like to keep my energy high. You know, I, I want to keep my energy high because if I can keep my energy high, that means I can keep the people who I come in contact with their energy high as well. And as y'all feeling this. This hoodie, this is my Black Women Who RV hoodie, my social network that I created. If you are a Black woman, you are uh, car camping, tent camping in your RV, in your minivan, in your whatever. If you just have an interest in RVing, hit us up on Facebook. We are Private Safe Community, Black Women Who RV. But again, don't be afraid. Hop in them comments. Let me know who you is, who you be, where you from. I don't need your digits. <laughs> Man, I wish I could let this play. All right. All right. Earth, wind, and fire. And I'm an earth sign, so I you know I love them. Because they started with earth. It started with earth. They know we are so down to earth. And you've got to be rooted. You've got to be rooted. Uh, down. Down. Put it on down. Down, put it all down. Down, that's screwed tonight. If you are e, uh, EWF fan, drop in the comments what your favorite EWF jam is. I'm having a jam session all by myself right now. But you know what? Ain't nothing wrong with that because, you know, like when you be cleaning, when you turn that music on, you get that stuff done. It's just like that. I'm having a, I can have a praise session by myself. I can have a jam session by myself. But I do like to have people involved. So every now and then. I had a few people that joined earlier and I'm grateful because you never know when you get on these lives. Heck, when you put out a video, you don't know if anybody's going to watch it, if they're interested. So you're very vulnerable. 
So I appreciate the, the likes. I appreciate the folks that pop on, even if you are on here for only a minute or a few seconds. Thank you for even considering joining me. I really appreciate it. <laughs> But this is supposed to be dialogue. Y'all holler at a sister. Hey, Adventurous Spirit 66. How are you? How are you doing? I'm glad to see you tonight. You know, this is chat, chill, and vibe. I got my music going. I'm listening to Earth, Wind, and Fire right now. I got my white wine. I am drinking... Cupcake Moscato Diasti. I started out with a uh, red wine by Cupcake. They're red velvet, but I'm a sweet red wine drinker, and um, it was it wasn't doing anything for me, so I had to go ahead and just try this. Y'all, Michael Jackson is on on my. I wish I could play this, cause but if I play it, I could get a copyright infringement. And don't nobody need that kind of trouble. Don't need that. Don't need that in my life. I'm trying to get this channel going, 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 going. So how have you been? As for me, I'm doing great. I had an amazing meeting today. If you didn't know, um, I am the founder of this group, Black Women Who RV. And I got an opportunity to speak with um, a major uh, campground operator, and they are considering sponsoring our upcoming events and us doing a couple of other things. So I had an amazing day. Um, I cannot complain. It, it wouldn't do any good anyway, because don't nobody want to hear that. But yeah, and I'm grateful because my last video is doing pretty good. I wish it were doing better. So if you have not seen my last video where I am defending my right to share my lived experience, please go and check it out. Because my video prior to that, I was sharing about the racial bias and discrimination that I received at a Florida County campground in Hillsborough County. And I ruffled some feathers and I'm OK with ruffling feathers because when I ruffle your feathers that let me know who you are. That let me know what you stand for a lot of times. So I'm OK with that. I even put on a little bit of makeup today. It felt so good because I haven't worn makeup in a, well, I will normally put on, you know, a little bit of mascara and I wear some um, lipstick. I have a favorite lipstick, which is by, what is the name of that company? They're in the malls. Actually is not by that company. My favorite lipstick is by a company that made vegan lipsticks um, and she is no longer in business. And y'all, have y'all seen the movie Harlem Nights where they be in that closet and they be like trying to hold on to the air? That's how I'm using my lipstick because I do not want my lipstick to run out because she no longer makes this lipstick. Although I did find another lipstick by the lipstick bar that I do like, but I do like this one much, much better. Matter of fact, let me show you. I really hate that this woman went out of business because she made your lipstick and it was vegan. Um, and at the time I wasn't vegan, but I love the fact that it was clean. And it was also a black owned uh, business. I didn't support it just because of that, but she had great products, but unfortunately she wasn't able to sustain it. Now, this is one of her lipstick. This is actually the red that I love. It is gorgeous. Let me see. I love this lipstick. When I wear this lipstick, you can't tell me nothing. You can't tell me nothing. And it goes on so smooth.
Thank you, adventurous spirit, because I do have every right to share what I experienced. But at the same time, people need to respect what I experienced just because it did not happen to you. And just because you want to believe the best of other people, it does not make it my experience something for you to invalidate or minimize. And that's what my issue is. Because when black people, brown people, indigenous people of color share their experiences, people want to shut them down and, and explain it away and give the, the person that's done the wrongdoing a pat on the back or a little pass. And But that's not how this is supposed to work. You are supposed to let that person who is doing the wrongdoing know that they are wrong so that change can be affected. So I'm going to continue to share my lived experience. And again, I would rather for people to unsubscribe and keep it moving rather than I, because I'm never going to uh, silence myself. I'm not going to dilute myself and I'm certainly not going to dilute my content. But people need to understand that this stuff is still going on. We don't we, we're not making this up. We don't want racism. We don't want prejudice. We don't want to be. Um, living with implicit bias. We don't want to be living with covert or overt um, microaggressions and things like that. We don't. It is exhausting and it's it hurts. It really hurt. It really is very hurtful. So no, we, we don't make this stuff up. We know when it's happening. So thank you for supporting me. Thank you for understanding. Thank you for um, being a liberated soul family member, I appreciate you more than you know, more than you know. But y'all, look at that. That's so pretty. That's so pretty. I just love it. I just love it. Now, I did buy another red lipstick from, I think I got this one from Amazon. And this one is a pretty one, too. Um, the other one, the lipstick bar, I think is in my, in my bathroom, in my medicine. It's a very nice color. I mean, and for me, it, it matters to me because my mother took a, a antibiotic when she was carrying me. And while she was carrying me, because she took that antibiotic, it affected the color of my teeth. So my teeth have yellow stains on them that because they are the product of a medicine, it's not enough. I can't do enough whitening to get rid of them. Uh, and I love my smiles and I don't care about that. But what I want to do is minimize the um, the color. So these uh, lipsticks all have a blue um, base, which minimizes that. And I absolutely love it. Oh, and this is one of her other ones. This is my neutral. Um, and I'm almost literally, I mean... I'm really not using that often because I can't get it again. <laughs> and y'all know how hard it is to find a good lipstick that you love, a good lotion, a good shampoo, a good conditioner, a good, it, you know, when you find something that you really, really love, you'll be trying to hold on to it and you'll be praying. You pray that they never discontinue. You know, like when you go to Bath and Body Works and you have this favorite lotion or candle or whatever. And you know, they they stay discontinuing stuff at Bath and Body Works. That's why I can't shop with them no more. I can't shop with them because they always disappoint me. <laughs> but I still get my warm vanilla sugar there. I still get my warm vanilla sugar. Who else is in the chat? Don't be afraid to chat it up with me. We're supposed to be chat, chilling, and vibing. When I get this feeling, I want sexual healing. I'm listening to Marvin Gaye now. What y'all know about Marvin Gaye? <laughs> but if you have any questions that you want to ask me about my upcoming van life trips, uh, about van life in general, about being on the road, if you just want to chat, if you want to learn, I mean, I just let's just chat. Let's talk. It's about getting to know me and me getting to know you. So let's just talk. Any questions within reason, of course. 
And thank you for being here. Let me get that out first. Thank you so much for being here and for the likes, because that matters. It lets me know that people are interested in my content and that I am making an impact and that my spirit is jiving with someone else's spirit through these Internet ways. See, that's what I'm talking about, CT4 Travels. You had this favorite lipstick, and now they don't travel it. So we like doing like the folks in Harlem Nights, barely using it, you know? It's so, oh, it's so frustrating. Oh, my goodness. And I don't wear makeup that often either, but I did go to Ulta this week because I wear Bare Minerals Foundation. I love their loose powder, but it can be a little messy. So I bought the Press Powder Foundation. And I bought some little corrector for up under my eyes because I don't know why, but I have these little puffies. Y'all, I get plenty of sleep. Trust me. I get plenty of sleep. I don't know if this is hereditary or not. I kind of think it is on my dad's side. Um, so I have been trying to figure out how to minimize this. But you know what? I'm really not tripping because... Y'all, this is 57 plus years, okay? If I, I ain't complaining. Because when I take this hair down and put on some clothes, clothes. <laughs> Let me tell you, them good little young girls can't, they, they can't, they can't even, can't even hold the torch to me. Nothing. Uh, and that's not being conceited. I'm confident. I'm like Beyonce on this. I'm confident. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So CT Travels, tell me about your travels. An Adventure Spirit 66. And again, this is about getting to know each other. So don't hesitate to ask me questions. Don't hesitate because my goal is to be on the road. I was hoping to be on the road the early part of March, but life. Um, I needed to make sure I got a few things handled from a uh, health wise. I wanted to make sure I got my physical done. I wanted to make sure I got my eyes checked um, because I'm not planning on being back for a while. So I had to get some stuff taken care of. And um, I was waiting on some stuff to be done and get some help from my husband on some stuff. Let me see if I can see this because I can't see without my glasses. Let me tell you, I love me some castor oil. And that is what I use at night on my skin. During the daytime, I have my, of course, my skincare regimen that I use. I use some Origins. I use uh, Hyaluric, uh, Hyaluronic. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. With vitamin C, <laughs> I do use um, a vegan eye cream during the day. Of course, I use my toner. I use my moisturizer. I use my... Um, uh, sunscreen also at night when I cleanse my skin um, my moisturizer after my toner is castor oil and I do use it on my under eyes and over my eyes I put it on my neck also because as we're aging what I learned um, we're, we're losing collagen of course it is what happens so the castor oil I do love it I love that it just penetrates my skin just like that. I don't have an oily residue. And you would think that with castor oil being as thick as it is, there would be this oily residue, but it's not. I love it. I absolutely love it. And I do believe that I can see, I don't have lines, but it's more the puffiness. And because the way I smile, if you, <laughs> I have these laugh lines or smile lines right there. <laughs> I don't like them, but I ain't mad at them because you know what? My smile lines, my laugh lines, they show that I have lived this life and I'm continuing to live this life. Although I do try to minimize them a little bit, not because I'm vain or anything. I just don't like them for me. You know, I'm not trying to get back to my youth. I just want to slow this down just a little bit, just, just a teeny, teeny, teeny bit. Hey, you're from Alabama. Hey, Wanda, thank you for joining me. 
Girl, I ain't compete with these young girls. They ain't got nothing on me. <laughs> I just know that when I when I put on clothes and I actually um, take the time to, you know, put on, because I don't wear a, a, a full face of makeup. I just put on like a little bit of foundation because after I had my two daughters, my pores got a little bit bigger and I don't care what I do. Those pores are not getting any smaller. Um, so I just put on a little bit of foundation, a little mascara. I might do my brows and just a little bit of blush and lipstick. That is it. I don't go, I don't put no concealer on because girl, I don't even know how to use this stuff. Um, I ain't going to even lie on your front. I don't know how to use that stuff. I have tried. Um, and I probably could use it. I just don't want to put all that stuff. I feel like it's cake on my face. I, I don't like that feeling when I have all of that stuff on my face. So that's that. But when I put myself, you know, and put on some clothes, because um, the clothes that I have, I've had my clothes, a lot of my clothes for decades. And they still look new because I have so many. Um, but no, these, young, these little young girls, honey. I'm fit. Look, I run circles around these little young girls. <laughs> um, Adventure Spirit says, what is the thought process when you plan your trips? That is a very good question. Well, my process that I have is that there's certain things that I want to see. I want to see all of the black beaches um, that were black only beaches that are still in existence. So I do travel to places specifically to see those beaches like St. Augustine Beach. Um, what's the uh, Martha's Vineyard? Um, there's a couple of beaches in New Jersey. Um, there is actually a beach here in Maryland that was black owned, uh, black only rather. So I do try to plan my travels around that. Um, but I have a direction that I want to go when I travel. Like, for instance, when I start this trip, I want to come from the northeast down to the southeast around and just continue going around and then make my way back through um, the U.S. And my goal is also to go to Alaska and Canada. So and I have thought about my process when I go northeast, because when I go northeast, I will be so close to Maine that it would make sense for me to go on into Canada, because if I'm not mistaken, it's like five or six hours from uh, from Maine, because I really want to see the Niagara Falls in Canada um, and I really want to go to Canada. So. And Canada is, if you're part of the Black Women Who RV, we are planning a caravan to Alaska, Mexico, and Canada for 2025. So that is my thought process. Now, how I pick the places that are going to stay, I actually do a lot of research on the places that I'm going to stay. My husband is former military, so I do have access to military campgrounds, but I use Passport America. I use Spacious Skies Campground. I use Vista Recreation Campgrounds. I use Harvest Host. I do stay at Cracker Barrels and Walmarts and Kohl's and um, other little places while I am traveling to the my destinations. I do prefer to stay at campgrounds. Campgrounds, I'm going to stay at those at like 75 to 80 percent of the time. But I love, love to boondock. However, I take in consideration that I am a solo woman. I do not want my family worrying about me. Um, when I'm out there boondocking, because some places when you go boondock, there's not a lot of service. And I'm big on if it doesn't have the bars for my family to get in touch with me or me to get in touch with my family, I'm out, no matter how pretty it is. I may stay for the day, but I won't stay overnight um, because safety first. Um, let me get to some of these comments. Wanda says, greetings from Alabama. I cannot wait to come to the Gulf Coast Park in Alabama. Actually, when my RV caught fire, I was actually headed to Alabama. Uh, and the people there were so nice. They checked on me to make sure that I was okay when I called and had to cancel. A few days later, they called to check on me. I was so appreciative of that. How long do you usually stay on the road and do you participate in meetups? Yes, I do participate in meetups. Actually, I also create meetups. I let people know if you're inside the Black Women Who RV group um, where I'm going to be. 
And if they're in the area, I try to, to make meetups because we need community, especially when we're traveling on this road by ourselves. We need to talk to another human being sometimes who, who understands the trials that we go through um, when planning on where we're going to stay, how we're going to get fresh water, um, how your your power is, is, is being divvied out. If you need to charge your uh, power stations and stuff like that, just... I don't necessarily get lonely on the road, um, although other people do. I actually enjoy that solitude uh, because it gives me an opportunity to do some introspective healing and some introspective um, reasoning with myself and understanding of myself. So I don't necessarily get lonely, um, but my goal is to be on the road for the next two to three years taking some time to come back and hang out with my husband. He visit me on the road and things like that and my family. So that is my, my plan. Um, staying on the road. Adventurous spirit says she takes a powdered collagen supplement. Let me tell you, I used to take the Neo cell, but let me tell you what the Neo cell did for me. It did help, but if I stopped taking it, any um, cellulite that I had on my thighs, it would magnify it as soon as I stopped taking it. So once I stopped taking it and it's gotten out of my system, you can't even, I don't even see the cellulite on my legs anymore. So for me, I had to stop taking that. Um, and then I would take their travel gummy type ones, the little chews. The chews had so much sugar, they were putting weight on me. So I had to back up off of them. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for that compliment, um, CT4 Travels. And laugh lines, yes, because I, I, I like to laugh. Y'all, if y'all had, I'm goofy, I'm silly, I really am. Um, I like to play a lot. I, I know I'm good and grown and I still like to play a lot. Ask my husband. I get on my husband's last nerve. <laughs> yes, the group is on Facebook. Yeah, it was funny about the cellulite because I really did not think about it. Now, granted, um, the only thing that I changed was I stopped taking the Neo cell. And anytime I'm traveling on the road, I always drop weight. I do not understand it. If I'm traveling on the road or if I am working on something like working on the van, moving, um, if I'm on a pro, I always drop weight, um, not intentionally. And I don't mind it because I like to stay around the 135 ish, um, 140 ish range. Uh, but sometimes I get up to that close to that 150 range. And when I get there, it's time for me to back up because I can start seeing the y'all. I'll be having handles all back here and it's time for me to back away from the, for whatever it is. Um, Cause it's not so much that I eat a lot. It's what I'm eating because now that I'm menopausal and have gone through the menopause stage, um, I have a sweet tooth. Y'all, let me tell you, I didn't have a sweet tooth before. But girl, let me tell you, I, friends, let me not say girl, because everybody on here is not a girl and none of us are girls. But you know what I mean? Girlfriend, um, I got a sweet tooth for you. I, I never it wasn't that I couldn't eat. Sweet, I just ate sweets sparingly by choice. But now I can sit and eat a whole Edward strawberry cream pie. Woo, child. I, so I have to back up. <laughs> so this weekend, I'm hoping y'all pray for a sister that my husband will help me put my bike rack on because I am looking for an electric bike because I don't like to unhook my van every time I have to go to the grocery store or if I want to go sightsee, I don't necessarily want to take my whole house with me. Sometimes I just want to take, just go and come back and not have to unhook the water if I have it hooked up, unhook the electricity. Because I don't always hook up, even if I have access to electricity because I have solar. And But 
it's a pain sometimes to have to disconnect and come back because sometimes I don't get back tonight and I ain't going out there to connect at night. Just not going to do it. The only thing I'm going to do at night is I'm going to put up my motion detectors and then I'm going to go back in the van and you ain't going to see me no more to the next to the next day. <laughs> So Wanda, CT4 Travels, Adventurous Spirit, are you guys traveling? Have Do you guys have any plans to jump off, jumpstart this camping season? Or are you full-time, part-time, considering it? Are you in a van, RV, car, minivan, tent camping? Let me know in the comments. Thank you, babe. My husband was cooking, so he brought me something to try. I don't know why it's cold, though. He was just cooking. We're plant-based, and my husband is 100. No, I'm saying my husband 1,000% plant-based. Now, me, I will eat meat. When I go visit my daughter... There's this fish place in Georgia. My mama loves the hush peppers. I love the hush puppies too. But they have a fish sandwich that is out of this world. I will eat that. Um, life is too short for me to be not eating some of the things that I enjoy that are meat. Um, my husband, he just cooked a barbecue portobello mushroom. I'm not sure. What else is on it? But it looks like he's got some seasonings on it. Or maybe that's just part of the portobello. It's actually pretty good. Oh, you have a teardrop. September through May. That's a good point. Because depending on where you are and where you're traveling in the summer... Um, especially if you're going to Florida, Florida is in Arizona. Those areas are going to be crazy packed. Um, my youngest daughter lives in Florida, so I'm definitely going to still probably go through there, but mm, 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 it did good. I wish y'all could taste this. So portobello mushroom. He seasoned it. He made this sauce. I'm so proud of him because my husband is a, um, what do you call it? He's a creature of habit. My husband will eat the same thing, cook the same thing all the time. But lately, since I've been, and it may be since before I came back from my last trip, um, he has been just like cooking and I'm so proud of him because he's been trying different things. So I am really, really proud of him. This is good. Adventurous spirit. So you have a teardrop. I think they are so cute. I am just, I don't like the idea for me of having to get out of my vehicle to go into my home. Now I have a girlfriend um, who has a van. She's built it out, but she's also towing a travel trailer. And I like that because she's going to be work camping. And so what she's going to do is that she's going to drop her trailer at the campsite. And then she's going to use her van to go in sightsee and, and so forth. So I love that for her. But I do love the, the space that we get with travel trailers and fifth wheels. I do love that. CT4 Travels is part-time with a van. Yo, go ahead, girl. She's Oh, you're in North Carolina. Guess what, sister? My van, the guy that helped me build out my van, the woodworker, because I had a lot of people help me. I had my electrician. I had my, um, my electrician plumber because he does both. Um, he helped me with my van. Then I had the woodworker to help me actual build the van. He was amazing. He used to do um, the 
displays for Red Bull. So I was very blessed to meet him because he was also very cost effective. I did price out having my van built by um, some of these van builders. Hunty. Mm -mm. I was not about to do that. It was too expensive, way too expensive um, for me. I mean, it works for some people, but it was way too expensive. Um, even with me getting solar, um, 12 volt um, items, components, because my refrigerator is 12 volt. The only thing that's not 12 volt in my van is my microwave. Even my TV is 12 volt. And a tour is coming. Um, I just got to get on the road. I got to finish the little things that need to be done so I can get on the road. Um, and I found a leak in my um, tail shaft. So I'm waiting to get into my mechanic's shop so he can fix that. And then I should be ready to rock and roll. Um, but even with the things that I put on my van with my, my solar, um, I have a 12 volt AC and even the repairs, I still came out well ahead of the game uh, with a, I have a shower, uh, all the things. But there was no way I was I could afford. And even if I could, I'm pretty sure that I wouldn't have paid it because I could see myself using those funds for different things. Um, but the he he's in Salisbury. He's in Salisbury. I don't know how close you are to Salisbury. I know that's like 45 minutes from Charlotte. Um, and I've heard some really of uh, some really great campgrounds in North Carolina. I think someone was talking about Kirk Care, K-E-R-R -R Lake. I have 600 watts of solar on the roof and I have 600 amp hours of lithium batteries. So I don't ever really run out of power. I've never run out of power. Um, and I have the DC to DC charger. So when I'm driving my van, my batteries are automatically charged. Oh, you live in Alaska. What part? Oh, that is so cool because I want, well, we are going to do a caravan to Alaska. Um, and I'm still, I can't remember which highway. It's the one that has the less bumps that won't tear your vehicle up so bad. I think it's the one that starts with D, with a D. Um, I can't remember the name of it. That will allow you to see the uh, Arctic Circle. Thank you, Wanda. Yeah, CT4, I heard a lot of great things about Kerr Lake. As a matter of fact, people in the group always like, let's do a, a meetup at Kerr Lake or Care Lake. Um, and that would be amazing to do that. You just got a minivan, Wanda? Oh, awesome. Yeah, start slow because so many people don't need a bill. I'm the type of person that I needed a bill. I just felt better about having a bill. The person I bought the van for, from, she had a no bill and it just wasn't a good use of the space without a bill, in my opinion. Um, so I have everything that I need, lots and lots of storage and sometimes still not enough storage. <laughs> but I think you're right. Some of those builders just don't have a clue to what they're doing. And I won't say that they don't have a clue to what they're doing, but I will say this, because I did work with this particular builder, I do know why it takes so long. And I can even understand a portion of their pricing because when you have to um, build in some of these vans, and I have a 97 and my van goes like this. Well, it goes up and like that. So up. And over like that. And when we had to scribe those walls, it was time consuming. It was very time consuming. But once you scribed it and you got it in place and you got it on the wall, it's really not. It, it moves much, much faster. It's the actual building out the frame that I believe takes the most. And because I designed my own van, I knew exactly what I wanted, where I wanted it and how I wanted it. 
Um, and that was another thing. I didn't want a copycat van. Uh, I, I wanted what I wanted and how I wanted it. So she 50,000 for a schoolie bill. Oh my God, the electrical and the plumbing weren't installed. Oh my goodness. Well, they weren't installed correctly. Can she, now my electrician for our house, he is a certified electrician um, and he's also a plumber. Um, he did my plumbing. He put in my gas tank. I have a 12.6 gallon propane tank that is uh, mounted up underneath my van. He did that. He put in my fresh water tank. Um, he did not do my electrical. He did my, I, I did hire a solar person that I will not ever, ever um, refer anyone to. He didn't do a bad job, but I will say that he didn't do the best job of making sure things were hidden and covered up and they left a mess and they tore up my pantry and then tried to not pay me for it, but I got my money. Um, so I won't ever refer. I mean, he could be a smart aleck too. You ask him a simple question and he will come back at you like you a dummy. The reason why I ask is because I don't want to do something that's going to hurt my system. So I won't ever refer him to anybody. Um, yeah. But that's crazy. But if she can find uh, an electrician or a plumber in her area that is not afraid of going into an art. And I wouldn't say an RV tech. And the reason why I wouldn't say an RV tech is because they're going to charge it like you like it's an RV. Versus if you get an electrician or a plumber, they can actually go in and um, help with it. I wish, I hate that for her. Is there no recourse that she has? I mean, there's got to be something that she can do. That just, oh, that makes me so mad that she can't even use her electric or her plumbing. I would be calling them out to call them in. <laughs> yes, everything in my van is custom. Everything is custom as far as how it's built. Um and I do, I do have lots of storage. Um, and that was very important to me because I don't like things laying out. I'm a neat person. I like everything to have its own home. So it was really important for me for things to be put away, have a space for everything. <gasps> oh my God, they skipped town. Oh my goodness. And that was, and, and to be quite honest with you, that was also one of the reasons why I wanted to make sure I dealt with professionals that were experienced in those particular trades. My builder did not help with my electrical. My uh, electrician did not help with my building. The plumbing, because that is what his specialties are, he did not help me with um, any of my building. The solar guy didn't help me with anything. Everybody had their own trade and that's the only thing that they focused on. That is so, so, but you know what? They really should be calling them out. They really should. All of them should be calling them out because you can only run for so long. Can only run for so long. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is almost nine o'clock and I try my best not to hold people too long because life um, and, it, you know, we, we want to respect each other's time and so forth. So I'm not going to hold you guys much, much longer. Oh, my God, you have to you don't have to share it in the in the comments if you don't like, because my goal is not to shame anybody. That is not my thing. But if you're right, you're right. If you're wrong, you're wrong. So if I shame you, that's because you are guilty. Um, a guilty conscience is, uh, can only be shamed. But I would love to know um, more about their channel. And I don't know where they're located or if they need help with something else, but who knows, I might be able to share something with them that could help them to get that situation rectified so that uh, they could use their schoolie 
um, the way it's supposed to be. I mean, fifty thousand dollars is that's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. I could pay my taxes with that. <laughs> That, is, that just breaks my heart that the builder has done that to so many people. Um, because a lot of people, that is all that they've had. They are um, cleaning out their 401k. They've sold their home. And this is the money that, that, they're, that they're planning to live in that RV or van or whatever, or the schoolie, um, because they need to save money because it's just it, whatever the reason is. And it doesn't matter if they've used all of their money, if they've got tons of money. That is their money and you should give them what they paid for. And if you are not qualified, I used to have, and, and I'm going to tell you a story and then I'm going to let you go. Um, I used to have a moving company called uh, Smooth Move. Um, and what I used to do is I used to work with um, executives who were moving from one state to another state to take on another position. And they didn't have the time, didn't want, didn't have the capacity, did not want to move themselves. They didn't want to unpack one, didn't want to pack up one house, unpack another house, decorate it, take care of the utilities and all those things. So my company did all of those things. What I would do is I would contract with the individuals. I contracted with the organization person. I contracted with the person that did uh, food preparation or meal preparation. I contracted with a maid sir, a uh, cleaning service, not a maid service, but a cleaning service. I contracted with various companies to bring the services in. So I would be managing them. I was project managing management was what I was doing to make sure that their move was smooth. I even contracted with the moving companies to make sure that everything was packed up, delivered, everything was accounted for, nothing, nothing broken, nothing uh, missing or anything like that. It would have been the best thing for these builders to go out and contract with people who were, who were professionals in those trades. Oh, gosh, no, 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 no. Um, and I see this a lot because people do not trust their own judgment. She trusted the builder to buy the bus because she felt like the builder had more information and more know-how than her. We would have had to be there together because there is no way I was going to trust anyone to buy anything that I got to live in, drive around in. Uh-uh. My husband, maybe, but um, no, not someone that I don't know. Um, and all of those other things. Um, yeah, because Washington State to California, that's a good bit of a ride. You got to come all the way down from the top to almost at the bottom. Well, pretty much the bottom. That's a, yeah. Don't blame her because as women, a lot of times we are actually taught to allow someone to think for us um, or to tell us that we don't know anything about cars and mechanics and tools and all the things. So we don't necessarily, we are taught to not trust ourselves in those areas. Uh, so I don't blame her. I do blame patriarchy. I do blame society. I, I do blame those things. Um, but mostly I blame the person for taking advantage of her. Definitely blame that person. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I really, really appreciate you all being here. Thank you so much for this lively dialogue. Thank you for letting me get to know you and you getting the chance to know me and sharing a glass of wine with me. I think that is my last one um, for the night. I'm going to go try my husband's food. Hopefully he made some rice to go with this so I can have a meal tonight. <laughs> But I'm going to try to do these lives once a week. Would you all be interested in a live once a week? Or once every two weeks? I'll put up a poll um, and I'll ask this question and then we'll find out and we'll do that from now on. Because I actually like this. It feels a lot more personal when I can actually respond to your questions and see your comments than and in real time than just in my videos. 
You have a wonderful weekend too. And everyone have a great weekend. And if you celebrate the Easter holiday, um, please enjoy your holiday and be safe. I love you guys. Until the next time, do everything in your power to plant those seeds that are going to propel you forward so that you can create and live the life that you desire and deserve and so that you can grow, thrive, and flourish. I love you. Talk to you later. Bye.